Now to the battle on Capitol Hill over the next Speaker of the House. As the new 118th Congress convenes this afternoon, Republicans, they have a majority of members, but GOP leader Kevin McCarthy is struggling to clinch those votes needed to take the gavel. ABC's Faith of Uve is in Washington with the latest. A dramatic showdown in the House of Representatives as voting to decide who will wield the Speaker's gavel gets underway. With Republicans now in control of the chamber, GOP leader Kevin McCarthy has already moved into the Speaker's office. But uncertainty is looming over whether he'll become second in line to the presidency, as more than a dozen conservative members are poised to oppose his election. We may have a battle on the floor, but the battle is for the conference and the country, and that's fine with me. Florida Representative Matt Gates is among five far-right members vowing to vote against him, despite McCarthy making major concessions, including a promise to make it easier for members to oust him as speaker. If you want to drain the swamp, you cannot put the biggest alligator in charge of the exercise. And it is true that we struggle with trust with Mr. McCarthy. Representative Bob Good on Fox News. I suspect 10 to 15 members will vote against him. McCarthy needs 218 votes. Republicans have a razor thin majority of 222, so he can only afford to lose four GOP members. He's counting on every vote, including that of controversial New York Congressman elect George Santos. Santos has admitted to making several false statements about his personal and professional background. His legal troubles mounting as prosecutors in Brazil plan to reopen a 2008 fraud case against him for allegedly stealing a check. McCarthy silent about calls for Santos to step down. And all House business, including the swearing in of lawmakers, is frozen until a new speaker is elected. And if McCarthy fails to get enough support on the first ballot, it would be the first time in 100 years the House would need multiple votes to elect a speaker. In Washington, Faith Abuve, ABC News.